because of that. Oh god, is that gonna be too confusing? Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. You're probably a subscriber, and I appreciate you. You're awesome, part of the Fiber Tribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see more. Uh, probably two months ago, I mentioned to you guys that I was gonna weave some more towels, and I said, like, is that something you'd be interested in seeing? I don't know if it's gonna be tons different. Like, talk to me if you, tell me how you feel about it, and, Nobody said, no thanks, we're good on the towels. Everybody was like, yes, I wanna see more towels. So I wove some, but it's partly because I can't stop myself. Oh my gosh, do I wanna admit this? There is a small part of me that has considered buying like a 24 inch rigid head loom just so I can always have towels going and then I can do other things. But I haven't done it because deep in my heart, I really do want a floor loom. I just don't have space, okay? Space is kind of an issue right now, especially since I opened my Etsy shop. So I'm not exactly sure, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure a floor loom will ever happen. It would have to be an amazing deal. I see amazing deals sometimes, but they're never close to me. So I don't know you guys, whatever. It's almost Halloween. It's full fall year. In fact, we actually, I can see out my window and we actually have a lot of trees that have no leaves left. You guys, one thing I've mentioned a million times is that I love summer and I'm always sad at the end and I really don't love fall and winter, but I have been taking like mega doses of vitamin D this year and I feel so much better about fall. It's crazy. I don't know. Is it, have I just been vitamin D deficient all this time? Maybe. I feel good. I'm pretty upbeat. I have energy. I don't know what's happening. I'm on the treadmill. Life is good. Louis right there. I'm planning on dying like a buttload of wool tomorrow. For those who don't know, when I dye for my shop, I do not dye more than two braids in the same colorway and my shop is empty right now. <laughs> Except for bare fiber and warping bars and what you're about to see. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm gonna show you guys these. I wove some towels, finally, for fall. I'm just gonna show you this right now, and then I'm gonna take you through the process. I did not change my usual formula, but I do not use a pattern. I know some of you are gonna ask, that happens to me every single time. I pick out some colors that I like and then I make my own pattern. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you at the end. I'll show you each towel just for a second and then I will give you all the specs. Okay, I'm about to show you that some of this warp has a sag in it. I started in the middle and worked my way out both ways. And I'm going to show you how to fix that with the warping bar. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to show you guys. You take the top and you drop it down, okay? Alright, so I had the bar screwed down in the middle, which is where it's sagging. I'm going to do the sides too a sec. Then, on the loops where it is sagging, you can just pull them up.
So I am gonna wind it up just a hair more because I really don't wanna deal with the loops being too long. I'm not gonna cut these. I don't need to cut these because, okay, so if you're a beginner weaver, this is important info to have. When I do a double stranded warp like I did here, I actually warp every slot and every hole while I'm doing the direct warping. And so that means you don't have to cut and slay because you're basically already slayed. But that's only if I'm doing a double because then I can pull a whole loop through all of them to begin with. So I'm just gonna knot these and then I'll tie them all onto the front beam and you guys, I'm ready to weave. I forgot I didn't have to do that step and I'm so happy. Ooh. But look how cute this warp is. It's really pretty. Okay, good morning. It's still dark out. It's like 6.30. I'm about to hem these towels. I got my coffee ready. There is my thread. I'm gonna use a dark brown. There's a dark brown in all of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a dark brown. I'm gonna fill a bobbin and we're gonna hem these towels and I'm actually so excited for them. They turned out amazing. Okay, so what did you think? Who wants to try it now? I know there's a lot of you guys who are trying it now because you got excited about it. And that is the coolest when someone tells me like I'm gonna try weaving or I'm getting a, a loom because of your videos. That is like crazy, except sorry I made you spend money, but I'm not sorry really. Let's go through these. Each one is, has a different weft so what i'm into right now and i feel like i have to say that because tomorrow that could change i am like that that's how i am so i might be completely all on one train and then all of a sudden i squirrel and i'm on a different train but for right now i like to do a really wild warp and then change up the weft with the warp colors as i go through making each towel different some of you have seen it before so let me give you the solids first, I think. In this warp, I had gold, orange, forest green, like an eggplant color, and a brown, and that's it. Five colors. Pretty sure I have three solids and then three tartans. I'm not sure. 
Someone tell me, if it's not fully balanced so that it's exactly the same going both directions, is that still a tartan? I'm not sure. But it's tartan-esque. So, the first one, this is, has the eggplant weft. I actually really like this one. This one has the gold weft. I actually really like this one too and I thought it would be kind of boring, but I love it. Because there's a lot of gold in this towel already, you can see. And then the last set I called an umbrella stripe and I would call this a ribbon stripe. So and this one has an orange weft and honestly, I was not gonna do this with an orange weft because I thought it would be too like bright and shocking, but what I found is that all the like darker colors in the warp really muted it down and it is so pretty. And you really hardly can tell it from the, I mean you can tell it from the gold if they're next to each other, obviously. But anyways, okay, so I like the orange. Then, this is the first tartan. It has mostly orange with green stripes in the weft and I am kind of in love with this one. This one has alternating stripes of the colors in the warp with a thin gold stripe in between. And I also really like that one. Isn't that pretty? And then this one is probably my favorite. Oh, oh, I forgot something. I'll tell you in a second. So this one's probably my favorite. This one also kind of mimics the warp in a different way. So it's like a thick stripe of one of the warp colors, then gold, eggplant, gold, I think it's green. Yeah, a thick stripe of green, then gold, eggplant, gold, green, gold, eggplant, gold. So I am, this one, hello. Who wouldn't want that in their kitchen? I kind of do, but I'm not keeping them. And at the end, I finished a towel, but I still had warp, and I literally could not stand to just cut the warp off and waste it because it was so pretty and I was enjoying it so much. I got six towels, plus I got a little mini, um, I, it's not really a mini towel. I'm gonna show it to you. I gotta go get it though, it's in my kitchen. So this is what was left of the warp. I just said to myself, just go ahead and weave until you cannot like squeeze any more out or you know how at the very end of your warp sometimes it gets a little wonky because it's like tied on back there so I ended up getting just this small little cloth that's all I got but it is perfect to lay next to my sink for the stuff that I hand wash because you know we have some of those epoxy tumblers that you have to hand wash and I also hand wash a whole bunch of stainless steel straws because I'm trying not to I'm trying to figure out ways to like use less plastic so I'm keeping it and I don't care and I don't feel bad I hope this inspires somebody um I promised I'd give the specs so let me do that I'm gonna literally go to from the beginning so that I don't miss anything woven on a rigid heddle loop I use a 12.5 dpi heddle 251 warp ends. I do an odd number of warp ends because I like to have a warp end on each edge that goes through a slot. I feel like they stay neater. I don't know. My salvages stay neater when I do that, although my salvages were not as perfect as I'd like on this set of towels. Not sure. It's fine. I used Maysville 8-2 cotton that I bought at Great Northern Weaving. In the warp, I like it double. In the weft, I like it single. But I also really like the thickness of these. I think that for me, this thickness is perfect because it's thick enough to dry your dishes, but it's thin enough to dry on its own really quickly, which I really, really like. I hate it when they stay wet a long time. It kind of skeeves me out, okay? I can't help but think about what's growing in that wet whatever We're, we don't need to it kind of grosses me out when they stay wet a long time okay so 251 ends means it is like a shade over 20 inches wide on the loom and then while I'm weaving I weave them 26 inches long under tension and then I um, hem both the ends but these are the perfect size for me you can see they're not like super tiny they're like a tea towel size these are what I like. You can do whatever you like. You can make them the size you like. You can make them as thick as you want. You could double the weft. 
that's kind of a pain unless you have two cones of the same color so bear that in your mind if you think you're gonna do it but I love them look just I'm like they're so awesome each one I took out while I was hemming them and stuff John was like that was cool that was cool <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that everybody in your area is getting healthy. We yesterday decided to cancel our family Thanksgiving celebration because people come from all corners of the state and well, all corners of the lower peninsula of the state. I'm in Michigan for those who don't know. And there are some pretty significant surges in different parts of the state. So I know a lot of people will still hold their celebrations and I promise you I'm really not going to judge but we're just trying to do what we can do to make this be over if we can like so I hope you guys get weaving and if you're not weaving I hope you're spinning or knitting or felting or taking a nap or doing something that's good for you and makes you happy and I love you bye <laughs>